Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Ashlyn. And welcome to the Pastured Homestead. I know a lot of you have been asking, so today we're going to take you along and we're going to introduce you to everybody and then probably tell you a little bit about ourselves. There's Buddy. There's Oak. There's Maple. And there's Rosie. Look at all those chickens. And none of them have any names. There's Bert and Penelope. They're a couple. This is Teddy. This is Prince. This is Millie. This is Leo. And that's Copper. Bert and Penelope are Idaho pasture pigs. We're going to be using them for breeding stock, and yes, they are two lovers. <laughs> Buddy is our purebred Angus bull calf. Um, in the future, we're going to be using him for breeding purposes, just to supply beef to our homestead. He's also my favorite. He's my baby. This is our sweet girl, Rosie. She's gonna be our milk cow and she is pregnant and due next year. She's a very sweet girl. Maple's a Jersey heifer. She's going to be a milk cow of ours someday. She's also definitely the shy one of the group, but you can't really tell right now. <laughs> Oak is the brother or the half brother of Maple. We aren't too sure what we're gonna do with him yet because him and Maple are related, so. We don't want them to produce offspring, but he's a Jersey bull. We might be selling him. We might just separate him. We aren't too sure yet. These are a mixture of egg layers and meat chickens. We didn't process all of our meat birds this year, but we're gonna use the hens to hatch out a bunch more next year. We have a silky, we have some Polish. These are New Hampshire's right here. We also have some leghorns and one Rhode Island red. Come here, Millie. This is Millie, AKA Millie Girl or Millers. She's a sweetheart. She likes to adventure and she loves to flop when you're petting her. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, good boy. This is Teddy. His nickname is also Cheddar, Cheddar Boy, or Tedders. He's the cutest, he's my baby. Or, or Teddy Bear. Oh, yeah, or Teddy Bear. <laughs> he's Millie's son. <laughs> this is Prince, or Princey Boy is what we like to call him. He was our first dog. He's a German Shepherd Lab. He's a good boy. This is Leo. He's my baby. We call him Liambo because he had massive ears when he was a kitten. He's so cute. And we are the Homesteaders. We moved here from Washington State this last year in June and we settled in northeastern Kentucky. We bought a 26 acre Amish property. He was born and raised in Washington State. Um, I was born and raised in New Mexico. It's a little bit different growing up. <laughs> and we met in Washington, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Back in Washington State, we started raising livestock. We had uh, egg laying chickens, we had meat birds. We also raised a cow, which was an interesting thing and we did it all on a quarter acre. And then by the end of our journey in Washington, we also raised some pigs, which we didn't see all the way till butcher, but yeah. Our neighbors got those little guys. Yep. So back in June of this year, we sold our house in Washington. We packed up everything into a seven by 14 cargo trailer and drove all the way across the country in the middle of summer at the height of the gas prices. It was <laughs> extremely expensive. 
with the cat in the cab with us and the three dogs in the back of the truck. We have some really big plans for our property here in Kentucky. We're super excited for springtime to start our garden. We've never had a garden and we are very excited for that. We also plan on building a few cabins and hopefully turning those into Airbnbs, maybe a mixture of off-grid cabins and on-grid cabins. We also kind of have a dream of building a house on the backside of the property. If you've seen our adventuring the property video, you've probably seen us talking about that, but that's years and years down the road, but those are long-term plans. We also have a ton of projects to do, like our shop needs to get closed in and framed out and our barns need to be built up a little bit more. We need to put in some culverts and run a bunch of water lines to the garden and the barns. We also hope to someday buy a sawmill so that way we can harvest the lumber off of our property. A portable sawmill. A portable sawmill, yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming along with us. Uh, we introduce you to our homestead. I know a lot of you had some questions, so hopefully this is our official introduction <laughs> to who we are and what the homestead is and all of our animals. But for the rest of the day, we're headed off to get our Christmas tree. We already put up our lights, but the last clips you'll probably see is, is from us doing that. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>